Sega. Sega. Did you know this game was made by Sega? Sega, these nuts. Oh. Hey, everybody, I'm Cliff. And I'm Gable. And welcome back to the Cliff Top. Do we even need to introduce this game? I'm playing Sonic 06. Oh, wait. This is my 100% file. Hold on. What is the profile picture? The pirate. He's got a beard, a little hat, an eye patch. Are you sure that's a pirate? That's a pirate. Pirate D's nuts? <laughs> that kind of actually works. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here you go, start this before we do anything else stupid. We're playing Sonic 06. Yeah, we're playing Sonic 06. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, look at that hyper-realistic block. Oh, dinosaur that nobody else can see. What do you think about Sonic 06? Rawr. Yeah, that's better what everyone else thinks. Oh. Oh no. It's her. You see, the problem with Elise isn't the fact that she's Sonic's girlfriend. Not that she has no soul. Because she's a ginger. Is at least furry. Son of yeah. Hooray! <laughs> Dude, here it is. I'm gonna scream. Egg. Ah! Look at his world. <laughs> yeah. Jason Griffin, the best Sonic voice actor, and no one can tell me otherwise. See, this actually looks good. Yeah. It makes you want to play the game. And then you play the game, and it makes you want to watch the cutscenes again. <laughs> well, this cutscene. Singular. Imagine... Like getting this game like day one, seeing this cutscene and being so hyped for the game, and then playing it and being like, "What?" There we go. Segman up to? I need to gather some information. Yay! You don't need to gather. Yeah. I am your information. Talus. Wow, it's that guy. And we're loading again. Alberto Roberts. I've been making shoes in this town for a very long time, but I'm making the ultimate shoes now. These shoes use the power of fully with mysterious stones to change. I'm calling them custom shoes. Cool. But there is no one that can test their full potential of the There is no one that can test the full potential of these shoes. I'm not reading. Is there anyone who can test the design of these shoes? You would be able to do that, really. Yes, we are fast hedgehogs. Oh man, I need these awesome shoes that can do all kinds of cool, okay. cool stuff. I One need... loading screen. Put on the shoes and go through the rings. I've made the shoes correctly. You'll make it on time. Two load. Yeah. Yeah, ring. I think you're the first person I've seen that does three. You're the first person I've seen who's done that on the first try. Wow. Every other person has not done it. I'm so special. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Amazing, the performance is actually thought my custom shoes are complete. And he goes like this. I will give you these shoes and you'll be able to use them. Money? I don't want any money. I'm just happy knowing that they're being used. The stones that you can fit into these shoes are called gems. You can buy them at the shop over there. They're very... They're... What? The the gems or the shoes? They're very rare, but if you put one in these custom shoes, they'll give you an entirely new build. The best shoes in the world, worn by the best runner in the world. I read that back. Sonic Hedgehog! Money is very important. Okay, now go to the shop. Buy some hey. potato chips. Is that supposed to be a reference to the, the one Sonic with the, 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 um, the thing? It's, he's like, he's got like the, these glasses on, and I think he's got the yellow he's wearing. Are you, are you thinking of a Jet Grind radio? Maybe. With beat? I, think. I don't think so. I think it's just a guy wearing... Can I just get this? Yeah, I get the potato chips. Potato chips allow you to dash along with money. I'm just gonna let you figure this out. Uh-oh. Wait. Did it tell you how to high speed dash? Uh, I think in the shop it does. Oh, no, it doesn't tell you how to do it. You yeah. made it. This is the mirror of... So far, I haven't seen anything too terrible. It just... I, I It's just old. That's the only... Thing. It's just kind of funky. Honestly, like, I mean, the, okay, the physics maybe are a little weird, but I haven't had a problem yet that I can, like, seriously uh, complain. Other than, that like, will change very soon. Yeah. You're doing remarkably well. I was the playtester, and this is where they're like, yeah, there's no bugs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dude, got one of those. We're gonna have to get all of them eventually. Oh, wait. oh okay. I think that is cool though. What? Um, 
the shots don't do, like, they don't actually, like, hit you. You don't actually fall over when you get hit by the cannon shots. But they, um, they chip away at your rings. You have 69 rings. Let's go. Oh, wait. You didn't jump. I didn't jump. There you go. Hey. Wow. You did it. Okay, let me tell you how to play as Tails since this loser doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> um, the best attack you have is if you jump and fly and start spamming the X button. You can drop dummy rings like you're in the Air Force. Um, when Tails does the little tired out animation, let go of A immediately. If you keep holding A, he will fall to the ground like he has a ton of bricks in his face. Uh, you can fly up there on those rock formations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know about playing as Tails. Yeah, see, that happens if you hold A for too long. When he does that tired out animation, all you have to do is just let go of A, and you can slow fall. I don't know why... Well, I do know why people don't know about that. It's because it's, it couldn't be a thing, and it should just like, do it anyway. Go, like, yeah, you're supposed to go up there. But it has a wall. You have to find another way up. There yeah. we go. Got him. <laughs> it closed. That's right. Now you can't get through there. Definitely can't swim under it. Nope. Cannot swim under it. Ah, the mock speed section. Or if you want to call it by the book, it's the super speed stage. Which sounds really dumb, so it's mock speed section. Mock speed. <laughs> yeah, that's that was supposed to be like a sonic boom. It sounded more like a fart than a sonic boom. Sonic boom, sonic boom. I guess sonic. sonic... You know, underestimate the power of ring dash in this area, or in this in the mock speed sections. They will, um, they can activate from very far away. Also, you cannot control yourself in the air when you jump. Good no. So jumping is your worst enemy. Uh, all fast, all speed. Oh. But in fact, if you hold left out of that out of that jump, you will glitch onto that ramp. Oh, will he get it first try? Oh, I don't think so. Nope. Dang. That's unfortunate. <laughs> get the hole like left or something. To... The trick to that is, yeah, I guess I'm just calling this how to play Sonic 06. Um, if you if you want to consistently get to do the end of the, this level right, you have to hit the the ramp on the left side of like when it starts, or else it'll fling you into oblivion like that. If you hit it, if you hit it like towards the right side, you'll always fly off. I did get lucky once and I flew off, but I actually hit the dash panel anyway. Yeah, if you hold left out of this, you can get out of that onto that ramp. Just trust it. I didn't. I got that left side. There you go. Okay, you should be good now. There's also some praying involved in playing this game. <laughs> no problems whatsoever. Nope, you got a B. That's really good. You only died twice. Right. Nope, you only died three times. You, sorry, oh. you died three times. That was not right. <laughs> you didn't game over though, so that's better that's... than most people. I'm just so good at this game, guys. Yeah. I'm just, it's there's no glitches, no nothing. There's no glitches in you this know, game. I just I was a little goofy when I hit the ramp and yeah, you know, it was it was it's the game all my it's, fault. It's, it's a skill issue, not definitely not the game issue. Yeah. So how do you feel so far? What do you mean? And that's supposed to be so your question was me, but like, like me playing the game so far. You're doing remarkably well. <laughs> Most people game over on the first level. I don't blame them. A bunch of scrubs, you yes, asked me. Well, they don't have a Sonic 06 dictionary like you do. That's true. Video. I would I wouldn't I would still be in the hub world right now <laughs> if you didn't ask if you didn't tell me where to go. <laughs> this game is really hard. There's no way I'm about to, the right There's reason. no way I'm about to try to face the water temple, let alone <laughs> how to beat. Step one. Turn off your hex. Okay, do a 180 and go to the shop. Or you could do that mission if you wanted, but yeah. well, yeah. I'm this town's accordion wait. They have a town accordion player? They do. I thought you were the dictionary that knew everything about Why don't we have a town accordion player? <laughs> teeny weeny. By the way, whenever teeny that sound that one sound effect plays, the one that goes boo, that means a solely on a silver medal is nearby. You can now manipulate gravity. <laughs> Let's go. You figured it out. Let's go. It's really, really it looks really good. Alright, uh 
turn around. Yeah, talk to that little girl. Stop crying. Shut up. Go home. Oh, she wanted to keep watch for Eggman. Eggman? Personally, I would have suggested the fridge to watch eggs, but that's <laughs> that's just me. When I watch eggs, man, sometimes they hatch, sometimes they don't. It's, and it's sometimes part of they the turn into of life. <laughs> ah, the mir- sometimes they turn into omelets. Sometimes they you turn know, into chicken. I want an omelet now. And I'm not like an egg guy. Like, a, like a, wait. You're not an egg man? <laughs> okay, you can go to the opposite side of the building that you were on. Yeah, that side. You could go into the desert if... Oh. What? I was gonna end the video, but that's fine. We can do another level. For some reason, running into the statues does more damage. Ha! Ah, okay. So, you're gonna want into... You're gonna want to run into the walls at a 90 degree angle. Yeah, like that. If you try and just, like, scrape him up against the wall, it's not going to do any damage. Even if you go at, like, a 45 degree angle, it's still not going to work. It needs to be a 90 degree angle. This is when he starts puking you. Just puking me out, breaking my ankles. Yeah. What? You don't want to keep your ankles? No, I do want to Oh, there you go. You could try. Oh, oh, oh you, did the, you did the- That's that's what I was talking about, flinging yourself into space. <laughs> Oh, okay. Fine. Whoa. Where do you go? Ah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm so glad we got it! <laughs> there you go! Yes! Yo! <laughs> so, I have two things to say about that. <laughs> one, one being, I someday I want to do a speed run of this game that I came up with. It's called Space Percent. You have to get into space as fast as possible. That is the fastest way to fling yourself into space, as far as I know. The second thing I wanted to say about that is the reason that happens is because when you lock on something in this game, the only time it stops the homing attack is when you hit the enemy. And the thing about the homing attack in this game is that as long as you're homing attacking, you gain speed exponentially, and that's why you fling into space like that. Uh, what? I think he landed on the pillar, okay, I think it's, and it I, saved I, I you. Think there you go. Beautiful. Boom. Beautiful. You probably didn't get an S, but beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, what did he get? What did he get? Dude, is that a subscribe button? We should end the video here, like I was gonna do anyway. Yeah, we can end the video. Do the actually don't subscribe, because that was a bad joke. Alright, bye. You can like though.